What's going on guys? Back with another Wizards video. Sadly, the Wizards take an L. 5-2. I can't complain, honestly. You know, 5-2 and two record. Still looking good. You know, they fought to the very end. They lost to a very good Atlanta Hawks team in Atlanta. It's not like they lost to the Thunder or somebody like that. They lost to a very good playoff team. You know, so, <clears throat> and they fought to the very end. Now, I got to give a shout out to the Hawks. They played very good ball. They made tough shots at the end of the game. In the third quarter, they locked in defensively. They forced the Wizards to take shots that they wanted the Wizards to take. They made the Wizards uncomfortable. The Wizards started settling. And, I mean, <clears throat> they got to the free throw line. They got to the free throw line 29 times and made all 29 of their free throws, which is crazy. And you get to the line 29 times, that's a good recipe for success right there. I mean, the Wizards, <sighs> they got to lower the fouls. Daniel Gaffer had four fouls in just 15 minutes of play. Now, I know it was his first game back, etc., but he was effective when he was in. in. That first quarter, he was affecting shots. He had that big dunk. Um, I don't know if it was the third or fourth quarter. He had that big dunk. I believe it was the fourth quarter. He had that two-hand block in the fourth quarter. But, I mean, we want to see more of it. And it's hard if you're getting four fouls in 15 minutes to play. You know, Montrez got to have, I mean, has to play 33 minutes. When we want to see DG playing, you know, 25 minutes, etc. as well. You know, he is the starter. We want to see him play more than 15 minutes. So definitely got to keep the fouls down for DG so he can be on the court and continue to be effective. I mean, Bradley Bill, the three-point shooting struggles continue. I mean, yikes. <laughs> three for 11 for three. The whole team kind of struggled from three. Uh, Dinwiddie was one for five. KCP was two for, two for six. Kuzma was okay, four for nine. But, I mean, they had... Davies Bertans go down with a sprained ankle, I believe. So that may open the door for Kispert to get more playing time. But the Hawks were running the zone. They were basically daring the Wizards to shoot, and the Wizards couldn't hit. So the Wizards are going to have to figure it out. They're definitely going to have to figure it out. It would be lovely for me to just sit here and say, shoot the ball better, Wizards. And the Wizards shoot the ball better. But... The Wizards got to definitely improve their, their three-point shooting. Bradley Bill definitely has to improve his three-point shooting because it's, it's bad right now. It's rough. You know, it's like at a point where Bradley Bill shoots a three, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it go in. It's like a 50-50 chance. I don't really know. Like, I don't like, I'm not like, oh, yeah, this is going in. I'm like, uh, maybe. But, I mean, then what he... 14, 5 rebounds, 10 assists. I feel like he played a pretty good game. Kyle Kuzma had 18.6 rebounds. I feel like he did okay. It was one little point where he was dribbled into the zone and lost the ball. That was pretty ugly. Uh, DG, for the time that he did play, was effective. But like I say, he has to keep the fouls down. Montrez, not one of his best games. I felt like he, you know, was a little iffy today. Um, 13 points, 8 rebounds. Howell Neto was 0 for 3 from the field. 6.5 assists. Denny Abdia now points to rebounds. I feel like Denny Abdia, this was one of his best offensive games. I feel like this was definitely one of his best offensive games. He was confident. Um, he shot the ball from three. And I mean, will you get that offensive output equaling up to that defensive output? Because he had another good defensive game. You're going to have a really good player. And I've been saying this. As long as Denny continues to, to you know get comfortable and be aggressive on offense... And that offensive output starts to equal that defensive output. It's going to be looking really good for him. So I think this was one of Denny's best offensive games from this season. So that's good for him. Uh, yeah, Kisper 2 for 3 from the field. 1 for 2 from 3. 5 points. And um, Aaron Holiday, 5 points. 2 for 2 from the field. 1 for 1 from 3. Wizards did go to the line 16 times. They made all 16 of their free throws. A lot of that was Montrez Harrell. He went to the line seven times, I believe. Made all seven of his free throws. Wizards shot 48% from the field, 33% from three. I mean, like I said, it wasn't... The Wizards had their issues, but it wasn't like a terrible game. I don't think the Wizards had a terrible game. I think this was a scrappy game. I think it was a tough game. It was always going to be a tough game. Atlanta wanted their revenge. Washington beat them in D.C. Atlanta wanted to get back in Atlanta. And like I said, the Atlanta 
has a deep team. They have a deep roster. Very versatile. Gallinari came off the bench, gave him life from three. He was hitting from three. They hit big shots late. DeAndre Hunter hit a big shot late. John Collins got a big rebound late. They were fighting down there. So, like, if the Wizards continue to play well like they've been playing, you could be looking at a potential first-round playoff matchup between the Hawks and the Wizards, for example. So, I think that would be fun, but it will be a lot of games like that. A lot of games that's close, a lot of runs, etc. So, I mean, we'll see, guys. I mean, what did you guys think about it? How did you guys feel? I mean, let me know in the comment section what you think. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, like, share, subscribe. On the road to, on the road to 2K subscribers. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.